I know that this surface area is a rectangle prism plus a triangle prism. And I know I've got to take away two overlaps. But I don't need to think about the overlaps, do I? All I need to do is go times two, times two. times one, why only times one? Because there's only one side, it's out here, yes? Right? And then, again, I'm thinking this red rectangle or triangle, do I really need to do times two? Why? Because it's just a rectangle, isn't it? So can't I just do six times eight? And then I got to do this rectangle and this rectangle, right? Now, how can I make this more difficult? What should I have done with this to make it an honors level question? that because what did I just do which means you have to do what find it with Pythagoras okay everybody picking up what I'm putting down mm -hmm. really to make it a true honors question I should have done that so you had to do subtraction Pythagoras which still catches some of you yes you do Ten squared equals six. I know you do, Sam. Okay. Again, I don't care how you do it, but I'm not going to fill out this whole thing, would I? I wouldn't even go to my calculator till the end. Right. <laughs> I'm going to look at that and I'm going to say, I. 10 times 6 times 2 plus 10 times 4 times 2 plus 6 times 4 plus 6 times 8 plus 8 times 4 plus 10 times 4. And I'm covered, aren't I? And I'm just doing that from looking. The other mistake kids make is they look at something like this and they think there's formulas for it. There's not. Right? There are for some. There is no formula for the surface area of them. You got to figure it out. Now, of course, you guys are going to be working that out. Some of you are actually using the picture and that's fine. Is there anything wrong? with doing it this way. If you hand me in a test and you've sketched out all the shapes, am I going to say, take this back? You're an idiot. Of course not. This is your math class. You need to do what works for you. A great many of you like using pictures like this. I do not because when I learned geometry, that was not how it was taught. We were taught the formulas and then basically slapped around until we've figured out that the formulas do not, formulas apply how we want to apply them, right? You could use a wrench as a hammer, but it wouldn't work very well, would it, right? That's how we were taught to use our formulas as a tool. You use them appropriately when is needed, okay? So if you were gonna fill this all out, Essentially, what did I just do here when I wrote out numbers? Did I not just do this without pictures, right? So it's whatever works for you. I don't really care. Okay, so let's fill it in.
I did that fast. I did that in my head. Some of you are probably using your calculators. Please double check my arithmetic. Okay, what? See, this is where we get confuzzled, right? Yeah. It should just be 24, but I'm filling this out the long way. I'm doing the whole thing. One, two, and minus two overlaps. Now, what have I really done? That comes out of there, right? And it comes out of there. Or, sorry, it doesn't need to come out of there. It only needs to come out of there. You okay there, Zach? Jack? The lid to your calculator. Okay, we good? Next one's no problem, right? I'm not even going to talk about it. You're going to do that on your own. This is the one I want to talk about. Please turn to example two. Cylinders mess kids up. Because cylinders have pi involved. Right? When you do this this way, when you do this this way, it really messes kids up often. Right? I always like to remember cylinders have two parts. I don't like to think of a cylinder as a single shape. I like to think of a cylinder as two circles and the middle. Circles are 2 pi r squared. The middle is 2 pi r h. And the reason I like to do that is because very, very often they like to throw cylinders at you. Do I need to care about this? No. Of course not. Why, Leighton? Because isn't that circle part of this? Yeah. Right? Remember the SketchUp thing I drew yesterday? All this is is pulling the cylinder out of the middle here, right? So the only thing that was added was this. So really, it's just this surface area, surface area of the big guy, plus the curved part. Does everybody understand? Now, could we do it? The reason I bring it up especially is because the formula for a circle is long, isn't it? 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And most of you, and I'm not saying all of you, but most of you would probably start putting numbers in there, wouldn't you? The reason I like to show it to you this way is because if you follow this rule, it's surface area of one, which was a prism, plus the surface area of two, which was a cylinder, minus two overlaps, which were circles, yes? If you go by formula, prism two, W, H, H, L, L, W, What's the mistake you're going to make there unless you're careful? What's the mistake that every kid makes? I told you about it. What math is happening here? Multiply. What math is happening here? They multiply the whole thing. It's times, add, times, add, times, right? And then your cylinder, they write out the whole formula. Many of my honor students do this. They're like, oh, Myers says use the formulas. So they write it out, that formula, that formula, 
minus 2 pi r squared, right? Because you've taken out the overlaps, yeah? And then they put numbers in for all of this. And where do they go as soon as they've written those numbers in? They go straight to their calculator where they have to push 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 buttons. How many of you have ever typed to your friend that you'll be out there in a sex instead of a sec? Yeah, you have, haven't you? And how many buttons is that? Three. Three. I want you to hit 29 in a row and get them right. I'll do it. Drop it. The point I'm trying to make is once you do this, you should be able to see minus plus. What do you get to do? Cancel them out. And now all of a sudden, I'm down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 buttons. A third of my work goes away before I even touch my calculator. Do you understand? That's the point I'm trying to make. Yes? Um, so this under the height is a side rotation. That's the other mistake kids make. I was going to ask, what's the other thing that can happen? What's the height of that cylinder? Up and down. What's the height? Still up and down. What's the height? Still up and down. What's the height? Yeah. As soon as I turn it sideways, somebody always tells me that's the height. Because of course, when I lie down on my bed and my mom wants to measure my height so she can put it on the wall, she comes in and measures my head. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Right? Understand? Use your brains. The work is easy when you think about it. So what are you going to do here? Exact same thing. You're going to do the surface area of the cube plus 2 pi r h. That's it. It's the page that's back in the beginning. Remember, I printed it funny. Thanks, Grapinder. You're the best. Yes. Now, is everybody okay with that? Just do this as practice. Right? The, these notes. Do them. Okay? That's the first part of your assignment. It's Friday afternoon. Just do it. I don't need to show you. You can all multiply. Um, but... But, I will remind you of a couple of things. One, leave your answers with pi when you can. Okay? Number two, Check your work before you go. I'll put up the right answers. Three, double check by trying a couple of textbook questions, especially the real life ones, like the warehouse on number 10 from last day, right? Especially real life ones. All right? Because I don't want to talk anymore. 
it's hurting more than it was when you guys first walked in. Okay? Everybody good? Yeah. Now you're all going to give me about 30 seconds before you're so loud I have to scream at you. I don't want to scream at you. So don't get that loud. Okay? You're here for another 45 minutes. Get this out of the way so you can think of nothing on the weekend that is school related, at least not math. All right? Go. I'll start putting up the right answers right now. Well, I won't. I'll start writing them out right now, and then I'll put them up. Yes. Um, guys, one last thing. Is it all right if I just show you the right answers the way I would do them? Or do you want me to fill out the whole chart? I don't care. Okay.